Hi everyone, welcome back again to my channel. So today's videos, we're going to talk about how I increase my milk supply or how I maintain it. But before we get started, I'm gonna make it clear that I'm not a lactation specialist. I'm just a mom for three months old baby boy. So basically everything that I'm going to tell you guys is based on my own experience and research that I did for myself. So if you are still interested, then let's get into it. So let me start by saying this. Breastfeeding or pumping is really hard. <laughs> oh boy, it's really, really hard. It is so hard because it's so emotionally demanding and tiring. Just put it this way and imagine it. You just have your baby and you still have to deal with your own emotion. And on top of that, you have to deal with someone that you really need to take care of and to be fat. So that's why I say it's really hard. Trust me guys, I know it, I experience it, and I think it's very normal for new mums out there to feel stressed and struggle for a couple weeks. Even me, I was so stressed and struggled to the point where I was about to give up on breastfeeding. Like, I don't, I don't want to have anything to do with breastfeeding. That's why I make this video for all you new moms out there or mom to be because in this video I'm going to share with you guys my 7 tips how you can increase your milk supply and maintain it. Tips number 1 that I'm about to share with you guys is eat and drink more. I know it sounds easy but let me tell you guys that you need to drink more water to increase your milk supply so basically you need to drink eight ounces water per day but for me i don't count any how many liters or ounces i drink but as long as you are drinking enough water through the day it's gonna be fine and also for breastfeeding moms you need extra 500 calories per day so make sure you are drink and eat enough like you have you need to have your carbs your protein your veggies your fruits basically anything that healthy to boost your milk supplies tips number two that i'm about to share with you guys is don't be stressed or distress yourself this is also very important because the main reason your body not produce enough milk is because you were stressed so my suggestion is try find something that helps you with the stress such as yoga, meditation or any kind of exercise that you like or maybe any fun activities that you like such as I don't know playing games or make a video but for me the things that helps me a lot with my stress is by yoga or make a video like the one I do now so make sure you're not stressed Tips number three is nurse on demand or pump on demand. So your milk supply based on supply and demand. The more your baby nurses, the more milk your body will produce. So let your baby nurse on demand. But if you are a full timer pumping like I do, <clears throat> make sure you are pumping on demand. So what I do is I pump every three hours and I'll make sure every three hours I will have to pump consistently. Tips number four is breast massage or apply moist heat. So this is another great tip for you guys and it really works for me when I have a lump or engorgement on my breast is to take a hot shower and I just let the steam fill up the room and when I walk in there it's really steamy and hot it's basically like a sauna so you can just do this in the morning or at night before you go to bed and if there are any lumps or you can basically you can feel any lumps on your breast you can just massage it with oil with in a circular motion downward normally I will do it until I see the milk comes out from my breast then from that I'll be sure that there's no lump there's no engorgement and also this tip is help you with your circulation especially if you have a duck no what's that called clogged up basically if you have a clogged up there's 
there's nothing come out there's there's no milk will come out that's why if you have this clot duct you really really need to massage it because otherwise it end up become really really hurt tips number five don't forget your vitamins this is again up to you guys but for me um, breastfeeding vitamin is really helpful for me and I feel the vitamin that I've been taking is really helpful with my milk flow the vitamin that I've been drinking is from Blake Morris and this is a pregnancy and breastfeeding gold this if you want to see I do really like this one because there's vitamins and minerals that breastfeeding moms need such as folic acid, um, omega-3 and the other one, what is that called? Uh, potassium iodide I think that's how you spell it but if you have any vitamin for breastfeeding that you trust or your doctor recommend it feel free to take it tips number six is adding an extra pump in there's thing called a power pumping so I did this um, well I knew this method from one of my friend and I did this when my milk flow was really really low or my milk supply is really low so back then I was so worried because suddenly my milk flow is just low extremely low um, so one of my friends introduced me with this method and I did try for two until three days in a row so non-stop and this method is works like magic on the third day my milk flow back to normal so this one is worth to try if you are breastfeeding mom that suddenly your milk flow are become low or you're not producing enough milk Tips number seven, which is the last tips for me, is pump to the empty or pump to empty. So your baby feeding for 90 ml per milk, and then you just pump for 90 ml milk. So you give the signal to your body that oh, okay, she only need to pump around 90 ml milk per pump or per feeding. But if you are pump to the empty or pump to empty, like. So for me, I every pump I produce 180 until 200 ml per pumping or per fitting. So my body knows that I need to produce that amount of milk. But for me, I will normally pump for around 20 until 30 minutes, and after that I will put another two until three minutes pumping, even though there's nothing come out basically nothing but from that it tells your body to produce more milk so your body will think that oh okay now she needs more milk to produce if that makes sense all right guys those are seven tips for me i hope these videos are helpful for moms out there that's struggling right now and please leave a comment let me know what you think about this video don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Bye!